please click and subscribe. This empty field is so boring. If only a wonderful town of Edison could do something about it. Dear Tim Noby, who are the greatest American politicians from 1900 to 1936, and what did they do? From Brady, Britain, and Madeline. To understand the influence of the politicians of the 1900s, it is important to realize what the country was facing at the time. Hi, I'm Annie. In the first decade of the 1900s, the progressive era came in full force as the working class demanded change from their long hours of work and minimal pay. Working conditions were poor and leisure was completely unheard of. Exactly. Muckrakers were a crucial representation of the common people as they exposed large corruption through their writing. Famous muckrakers such as Lincoln Steffens, Ida Tarwell, and Joseph Pulitzer were, and many more were able to make corruption public and force the gov government to administer policies and protect the people. During this time, the nation was anxious and eager to expand borders and take over new lands. Nationalism was high as America became a global power that shattered over the Western Hemisphere. The tide quickly turned the following decade as World War I began in Europe, with the murder of Archduke Franz Ferdinand of Austria. The Great War was sparked and European nations took sides in their bloodiest war yet. Being separated by the Atlantic Ocean, the Americans found it pointless to take part in the issue. However, the effects of the war inevitably reached out and the United States was left with no choice but to enter the fight. The bloody battles left millions dead and nobody happy. In the end, America went back to its isolationist policies. This also allowed for many large technological developments and shifted the role of women in society, as they were given a freedom that they had never dreamt of before. Things weren't perfect forever. The stock market crash sparked the Great Depression. One in four people were left without a job, and the nation's wealth seemed to have disappeared. That's a great question, Moby. Well, what politicians were most important during these times? Let's take a look. Theodore Roosevelt was the 26th President of the United States, serving from 1901 to 1909. Born in 1858 and a child of a wealthy family, Roosevelt grew up to be one of the most successful presidents in history. He was best known for his foreign policies, his square deal, and his conservationist actions. What a beautiful national park! Roosevelt was a conservationist, which means that he's a big advocate of protecting natural resources and landmarks, along with plants and animal species as well. When it comes to nature and the great outdoors, no one has done more to preserve its greatness than Theodore Roosevelt. During his time as president, he established five national parks, created 51 federal sanctuaries for birds, created four national game reserves, dedicated over 100 million acres of national forests, and created 18 national monuments, including the Grand Canyon. The time of Roosevelt's presidency is known as the Progressive Era because it is a decade of great reform in America. Before this time, laborers had little say in how they were treated, as they worked long hours in unsafe conditions for very little pay. Huge corporations called trusts made it practically impossible for smaller businesses to compete. Roosevelt introduced his own policies in order to help workers, consumers, and small businesses. These eventually became known as the Square Deal. Some other of Roosevelt's major accomplishments were building the Panama Canal, adding to the Monroe Doctrine with the Roosevelt Corollary, and increasing the power of the U.S. Navy. Another prominent politician during this time was Democrat Woodrow Wilson, who was elected in 1912 as a result of the divide in the Republican Party. He helped to push reform for the working middle class, women, and small businesses. He supported small businesses with the Clayton Antitrust Act, which reinforced the weaker Sherman Antitrust Act and kept monopolies from taking over markets. Also, he approved the Federal Reserve Act, which stabilized the monetary system of the United States and made taking loans out for the average American easier. He even helped to get the 19th Amendment passed by speaking and advocating for the cause, finally giving women the right to vote. However, one of his biggest contributions as president was leading America in World War I. Crazy, right? Imagine going from being a nerdy kid in Princeton to leading your country in a massive war. Well, Wilson originally declared neutrality when fighting broke out between Britain and Germany, as America was separated from the fighting by the Atlantic Ocean. But he knew that it would help the U.S. to jump into war in order to get a seat at the bargaining table. Wilson eventually declared war, and America's seemingly unlimited resources led to the surrender of Germany in 1918. 
In Paris, Wilson proposed his famous 14 points, which advocated for peace and the creation of a League of Nations. Wilson's well-intentioned but naive goal was world peace, which earned him the Nobel Peace Prize in 1920. Next is Robert La Follette. He was not a president, but he made just as large of an impact as a politician. He led the progressive charge and changed the views of the nation in many ways. But what exactly did he do? La Follette served in both chambers of Congress representing the state of Wisconsin, and later even became the governor of the state. He was a prominent leader of the progressive movement as he was an excellent orator and a public speaker. He was notable for promoting ideas such as initiative, referendum, recall, and the secret ballot. His ideas were eventually incorporated in the 17th Amendment, the La Follette Siemens Act of 1915, and more. In 1924, La Follette ran for President of the United States on a progressive platform, and was able to make a pretty significant impact. Although he did not receive many electoral votes, he was able to accumulate a significant amount of votes. La Follette became known as Fighting Bob due to his frequent clashes with political party leaders and his battle for the common good. In the end, he was one of the most influential leaders during the early 20th century and was able to shape American culture for years to come. Last but not least, Franklin Delano Roosevelt was the 32nd President of the United States, serving from 1933 to 1945. Just like Teddy Roosevelt, FDR also grew up in a wealthy family and became another extremely successful politician of the time period. He is best known for his contributions during America's worst ever financial crisis, the Great Depression. When took office, the Great Depression was in full swing and the nation was in an extremely bad shape. People lost money, jobs, and their life savings, but he made sure to spread optimism and confidence with efforts such as the fireside chats. His first 100 days of presidency, Roosevelt worked with Congress to enact many new policies. These set of policies became known as the New Deal and made FDR one of the most significant presidents of all time. Unemployed people were given jobs on big public works projects, farmers got help keeping up payments on their property, the stock market was better regulated, and the banking system was finally reformed. Theodore Roosevelt, Woodrow Wilson, Robert La Follette, and FDR each played large roles during their political careers which shaped the way our country is today. Introducing the History Hall of Fame in Edison, New Jersey, where the past becomes the present. In the History Hall of Fame, each politician has his own portion of the museum to himself, where his accomplishments, contributions, and life story are all portrayed in quality exhibits. We also provide virtual or guided group tours within our facility, which take our visitors on intriguing adventures through the stories of the past. Finally, we even have an enticing selection of favorites in our five-star cuisine. Activities are available for people of all ages to make sure everyone has the best experience possible. So come visit us today at 37 Christie Street, Edison, New Jersey, and have the time of your life at the United States History Hall of Fame. For further details, check out our website at www.historyhalloffame.com.